Okay, keep it short and sweet. So, math. If you understood more math, they wouldn't be able to get away with the stuff they get away with. I mean, like, very simply, my uh, tutoring, I want to tutor people, and back in the 80s, 1982, uh, tutoring was $20. Now, in 2012, tutoring is $40. And actually, I haven't kept up at $40. Just look at the inflation rate. Ron Paul talking about that. Again, who's talking about the Federal Reserve? Ron Paul. Who brought up, uh, you know, who's brought the fact of, that inflation is the silent tax and that the Federal Reserve is debt and more debt? Ron Paul. Uh, who's talking about getting rid of the TSA today? Ron Paul. And, right? And if you think the media is trying to make that, like, that's crazy talk again, and that's, not a per that's a wildly popular position. Anybody that's been in an airport is absolutely for that. I don't know. I don't know anybody that's like, yay, TSA. I know a lot of people are like, they don't care because they fly on private jets. So they don't care. Right? Their kids don't get groped. But they're feeling up your wife. They're feeling up your grandma. They're feeling up your mom. You're good with that? Right? Or have you had enough? And then go look at, and again, not conspiracy theory, the TSA's own union, where they first put these machines in, these guys, they have cancer clusters. You understand that? Okay, so I mean, the machines, they're trying to say that these machines are safe. Physicists and other doctors are saying no, once again. Math. Math, math, math. Right? The math doesn't add up. And then we have these journalists that cannot even, you know, understand the meaning of plain words. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. I'll link this story where this lady's going on and on about how can there be a debate on whether there was... All right without swearing at her, detained, past partible, past tense of the word uh, detain, which, or excuse me, the verb detain, keep someone in official custody. Did they keep them in official custody? Right? Typically, typically for questioning about a crime or, or a politically sensitive situation. Uh, definition number two, keep someone from proceeding, hold back. Did he get on the plane? Oh, he was detained. Did they take him on the side? Did they, they don't. You don't need to be arrested to be detained right so these media people don't know the words that they're right these are supposed to be journalists these are supposed to be people that are in you know communications majors i would hope and yet they don't know the meanings of the words right they don't know the difference between isolationist and non-interventionalist they i mean this is the media and like i said the media try to portray trying to portray it they know it's sensitive because they know that this is a wildly popular topic getting rid of the tsa right fourth amendment rights okay again delegates 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 who's on the ballot in 50 states ron paul and mitt romney not rick santorum not uh newt gingrich so it's theater again it's theater 37 delegates and they're talking about mitt being you know, Newt being the front runner or Rick Santorum not in it. Right? There's no way that they can get the nomination. It's not possible numerically because they're not on enough ballots. So what are they trying to do in Indiana? You know, these guys are in, you pay attention to this and make some noise about it. They're trying to make it so that, oh, just pay $10,000 and you get on the ballot. Right? Just pay us some money. You don't have to have support. Just get a corporation to donate a large sum of money and you can get on the ballot. Well, the idea is that you're supposed to have enough support, right? And you're supposed to get, right? And if you look at any, you look at what it took to get on the ballot in Indiana, and really, Rick and Newt couldn't get on the ballot? Pretty lazy. It doesn't look like they have wild support to me. Same thing, I mean, same thing in Virginia. Look at the qualifications. What did it take to get on the ballot in Virginia? And Newt and Rick couldn't get on the ballot. And you're going to tell me these are the front runners, that these guys have more support than Ron Paul. Again, the math doesn't add up. I mean, common sense. And the fact that, you know, somebody comes up like me and states the obvious, and this is revolutionary. People tell the truth, and this is revolutionary, right? And then try to you, you, other people try to throw terms around like conspiracy theorists and so forth, right? Vote fraud is the real deal in the United States, and there is overwhelming evidence to support this should be a nonpartisan issue. Shouldn't be any, there should be no, like, again, not like torture, nothing subject to debate here. That both sides need to get out and make sure the vote is counted. Foreign countries should be able to come in and watch the vote and see how we do it, right, so that we can go around the world and show them how a republic, you know, representative republic like ours, 
uh, has the right to go around and talk about democracy and point guns at people and tell them about how great our democracy is. So they should be able to come here and watch our vote. Hey, look how we do it. Right? No, these guys are counting in secret to protect the vote. Protecting the vote, everybody watches. That's how you protect the vote. Right? That, I mean, so, I mean, this future speak, double talk, double think BS that the media tries to feed you about, oh, the reason why they didn't count it for the first time in history in, in Iowa is because they were trying to protect the vote. Same thing in South Carolina. And then you see these stories about people that will try to go down there and just, you know, their right, their lawful right to see that their vote was counted and oversee the voting process, not to interfere, not to tamper, just to oversee, to authenticate and verify. And these people are treated like pariahs. Well, mainly because most of you guys are watching TV instead of getting down there and, you know, watching the results. Well, they'll count it for us. Don't worry. They'll count the vote for us. Yeah, they will. They will. All right? Like I said, the Russians are just laughing at us because they know it's not who votes. It's who counts the votes. Now you know, too. Right? The illusions are fading. Like I said, there's the best thing about this is that people are, you know, coming out of the cave, out in the bright sunlight, blinking, like, what happened to our republic? I don't know about you, but I want my country back. Right? I want the same country I grew up in for my sons. I got a guy like Ron Paul will go up there and actually, you know, support the Constitution, maybe even repeal some of these ridiculous laws, get rid of some of these illegal and unconstitutional government agencies. Right? Maybe, maybe we can head off the hyperinflation that's going on. You got one choice. And Obama supporters, you know, I mean, seriously, they, they, they run away and hide now. Because it's just ridiculous. Our, you know, the RIAA lawyers getting appointed, right? More Fox watching the hen house. Monsanto lawyers getting appointed, right? More Fox what, to the FDA. More Fox guarding the hen house. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Vote for Ron Paul. But make sure your vote is counted. This is the most important thing. All right.